got to learn from what the forest is doing. It's the most sustainable, most productive ecosystem on the planet. You have got to listen to it. You're seeing a cropping system which takes place between rows of trees. The system is called alley cropping because the rows resemble alleyways. Rows of trees are planted close together uh, in what was a grass-dominated site. And the trees have grown and have now completely shaded out all of the grass. It's dark, and for that reason, you hardly see any weed growth. At the appropriate time, they will be pruned down to about the height of one's chest. And the mulch, the green material from the leaves, will be placed on the, on the ground as a physical protection and as slowly decomposing green manure. A lot of the big stems, big branches, will be removed for firewood for the kitchen. It's a very big factor in Honduras, much more important than I imagined when we started this. Once the light has been let in and the ground is covered with mulch, the crop uh, can be sown. It's got enough strength to come up through the, the cover of mulch, which will largely be suppressing all the regrowth of weeds. During the course of the growth of the crop, the trees will regrow. There'll be a little bit of light pruning of the regrowth to control the shade. At the point of cropping, the trees are regenerating. They'll recover the canopy and they'll be available for pruning and cropping the following year. What Inga particularly appears capable of doing is to at least retrieve, retain, and recycle the key nutrients. You're simulating what's going on in the forest. You're not trying to fight it. 